Hot Wheels to me is it's my childhood. It's it's everyone's childhood. It doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl or even how old you are. They're a pastime. I think they mean something to everyone. I wanted to thank everybody for coming out here today. Honestly, this wouldn't be a show without all of you guys. Thank you guys for bringing so many amazing cars for this historic moment for us. It's our 50th anniversary. All right, so what do you fellas think? I mean, we got a lot of good cars here today. Yeah. Bunch of cars behind the wall here. We couldn't even judge. <laughs> Obviously, that Dodge mail truck. Yeah, that's, yeah, oh, yeah, that's, that's my top one. Yep. Three, two. Yeah. And then I also have the AMC Rambler. Yep. Yeah. She called it the Flare. <laughs> the no, Flare the Witch Flare Witch Project. Project. Yeah. Flare Witch Project. Yeah. yeah. That, that was one, a cool car. Was... The Geo Tracker was cool just because of so many hours and so so yeah. much customization. Yeah. It's got that secret thing you guys put on your packaging. What's that called again? Yeah, Treasure yeah. Hunt. Yep. That's in there. I love yeah. the wind up on the back. The wind up on the back. <laughs> <That's like laughs> and I was just That's happy that it actually worked. Okay. Cool. One, one two, two, three. Hot Wheels. Wheels. <laughs> so the winner here today. Susie Botter in a Rambler. I was speechless. <laughs> I never thought that uh, a little Rambler wagon and a grandmother <laughs> that was built in our garage yep. could uh, win something quite spectacular like this. It's, it's unbelievable. Cool. My car is a 1963 Rambler wagon, a Rambler American. We brought the car out for the first time in the public uh, on Halloween. And a friend of ours um, who helped with engineering the flares suggested that we name it the Flare Witch Project. I took auto shop in high school. And throughout my life, gosh, I've owned many cars. Together, Rodney and I have built Porsches. We've built our 68 Camaro from the ground up. And I finally decided after a couple of years, I really wanted my own car. I really wanted to do it. And I stumbled upon this ad on Craigslist and I thought that could very well be it. So we loaded up the trailer and went up to look at it and we were happy to see that it was everything that it was advertised, which was a car with no engine and transmission. <laughs> but it was mostly straight and it had everything I wanted and on top of it, it had four doors. When we started building this car, it had a purpose. The purpose of the car is for me to be able to race it. So we replaced the entire drive line, all the suspension, and most of the interior was replaced. And then of course the paint and the body. One of the reasons why I signed up to do the Hot Wheels judging was because it was mentioned that it was about garage spirit. It was about builders, not buyers. And we worked in the garage tirelessly day and night for, almost, it was almost two years. I think the, the chosen aesthetic for this car was very purpose built. I think that all car lovers and especially car builders are always thinking along the lines of pushing the envelope. So I think that Hot Wheels inspire anybody who's a car fanatic, especially if you're building a car. I've loved cars all my life. You know, that's a tough one because at a very young age, I remember playing with my brother's Hot Wheels who were older than I was. I don't necessarily collect things. I will say that I kept my Hot Wheel cars and gave them to my son when my son was little. I'm relatively sure that my grandson's playing with those same Hot Wheels. They probably have no paint left on them, but you know, they're still in action. Never in my wildest dreams thought that my car would be chosen. And then they said my name and I thought, wait a minute, it was surreal. I was speechless. I think I still am. I don't think it's really sunk in because <laughs> it's been quite a whirlwind. I'm very excited to go to SEMA with these other chosen cars across the country. I can't even express how emotional I would be. <laughs> Being a Hot Wheels car is forever. It just validates that this middle-aged couple in Tennessee can get out and wrench in their garage and build something that, I don't know, maybe could be around forever. 